What's up guys, hope you enjoyed that little preview. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I'm currently a Wharton MBA second year student. And I wanted to show you guys these next three days because they're gonna be a mix of a lot of work but fun as well. And today, which is Saturday, I'm gonna be going to a solid core Pilates class, which I've never done before, and then doing some work and then dressing up as a fun little costume, which you guys will see. I normally don't really like dress up for Halloween to be honest, but I thought why not? And then there's this Halloween party later tonight where like 300 people are going. And then tomorrow um, is kind of more of a chill work, work focused day. Um, but later in the evening, I have like an event that I'll be going to. And then on Monday is a mix of a lot of classes, uh, working on some uh, assignments for school and then a lot of like meetings and work I have to do for Rare Liquid. So just like an overall balanced view of how I spend a lot of my days. And so hope this gives you guys good insight if you're interested in applying to MBA or if you just want to see what the life is like. Wow, just came back from my first Pilates class and that shit was fucking intense. My legs were shaking almost nonstop the whole time. Right now I'm hurting in places that I didn't even know could hurt. Pilates is more like a girl exercise, but I feel like honestly, all guys should do it because you work out spots and areas you never normally do. And uh, respect to all the people who go to Pilates classes regularly and I'm just gonna rest here on the ground for like 20 minutes and then do some work. All right, so I'm working on my Halloween costume and I'm not telling you yet what it's gonna be, but I'm basically drawing this monkey costume or mask green. Hope it turns out okay. Okay, so I just finished coloring my mask and uh, wonder if you guys can guess right now in the comments what you guys think I'm gonna be. This year I decided to really get into the spirit of Halloween. It may have been the costliest decision I've ever made. All right, guys, it's time for the reveal. Can you guess what I am? Can you guess Mojo Jojo. That's correct. And you'll see the Powerpuff Girls soon. It's on that day. What troll to be Mojo Jojo. What? What? I don't believe it. Now, if you clicked on this video because you're interested in getting into business school and one of the roadblocks in your way is studying for the GMAT as it used to be for me, then there's a resource I highly recommend called Target Test Prep or TTP. I credit TTP a lot for helping me get a 750 on the GMAT. And back when I was doing research into all the GMAT prep materials that are available, I kept running into TTP on Reddit. And it's also one of the most highly rated courses that are out there. And what I really like about TTP is that it takes a topic by topic approach to make sure that you're prepared for any question that pops up on the exam. By the way, in case you didn't know, the GMAT is changing and is now called GMAT Focus. And this is actually a good thing because now the test is one hour shorter. You can still take the normal GMAT until the end of 2023 but starting in 2024 the GMAT focus will be taken by everyone and TTP already actually has courses for both. The GMAT focus will have three main sections which are quant, verbal, and data insights and TTP already has over 4,000 practice problems in their questions bank with video solutions for all three sections making TTP a one-stop shop for GMAT prep. What I liked most about TTP when using it is that it breaks down all of the individual topics that appear on the GMAT and with them come lessons and practice tests ranging from easy, medium to hard that lets you hone your skills and master each topic. TTP is also the only company on GMAT Club with a triple digit five star rating and they also have a score improvement guarantee. With TTP, it doesn't really matter what stage you are at in terms of your GMAT preparation because you can create your own customized study plan. And if any of this interests you at all, you can use TTP for five days for just $1 if you use my link down in the description below. All right, so it's Sunday around midnight and I was supposed to vlog the whole day, but then I kind of got really tired and I am gonna look at my phone to kind of go run the, run the day through with you guys a bit. So I researched how uh, tennis rackets because I'm trying to get back into tennis for about an hour. Then I cleared my, my inbox and messages. And then I had a meeting where uh, I'm 
in charge of a Lauder Huntsman mentorship program. It's basically like, kind of you can think of it as MBA and undergrad, um, but for like a small section. And then I had something called a WAM family event. So WAM is the Asian American club here. And then we're put into like these families. I'm a parent this year since I'm a second year. And it was a really nice um, like sushi dinner that we had at some, uh, my friend's apartment. And then uh, it was around eight of us or so. We talked about like relationships, career stuff and values. And it was just like an overall great way to kind of just get to know each other. And then I came back home, cleared my inbox and messages again for about an hour or so. And then I worked on my podcast by reaching out to people who I want to interview. Um, so that was pretty much my day. And tomorrow is gonna be a much more hectic day with like classes and schoolwork I need to do in between. So um, yeah, that'll be Monday. All right, so now it's Monday, gonna be a busy day and it's around uh, 11 or 10 40 a.m. about to go to my tennis lesson right now and then I'll show you guys the rest of the day at school all right just finished my tennis lesson and now I'm walking to Korean class which is an hour and a half and let me show you guys a bit of campus on the way This is the Lauder building where I have a lot of my Lauder classes. This is what some of our small conference room type classrooms look like. All right, so I'm about to enter class now and about 20 minutes late. Hopefully my professor isn't too mad. She's usually pretty chill. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I spent most of my Korean class just actually reading through a case for my private equity class that I needed to uh, read a case for, and then just spent the last few hours working on that case um, in the Lauder Lounge, which you guys just saw or will see. And now I'm headed to an executive coaching session. All right, so it's been about a few hours, but what I did was the executive coaching session, first of all, focused on my background. I kind of told her my life story and then what I really wanted to focus on over these next six months or so, because we're going to be meeting six times. And for about an hour and a half, um, I talked about like my leadership qualities, what I need to work on, what I think I'm good at, because my overarching goal for the next six sessions that we have is just to become a better leader for my team or liquid and all that. And then I had two sessions or two meetings, one uh, both for Rare Liquid, one was for email marketing and then the other was for the Liquid MBA course that I'm building. And so I did that, now it's raining and I'm about to Uber to go home. All right, finally home now and from 7 to 10 p.m. I have a class called Advanced Topics in PE. And in today's class, we have a case that we were assigned to read and answer some questions on in terms of like creating our own small little investment thesis and then also doing like evaluation on the company. We're gonna be discussing that case today for the next few hours. I'm already a bit late, so I'm gonna hop on. And then I have a few other things left that you guys will see soon as well. Okay, so I finished my private equity class and that was from 7 to 10 p.m. And to go into a little bit more, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool class because it's taught by a professor who worked and still works actually at Warburg Pincus, and, which is one of the top private equity firms. And he goes through deals that the firm has actually worked on or invested into and he has actually worked on. And so it's pretty cool to just get a lot of insight from someone who really knows what he's talking about. And he's really old school. He'll like tell people to like speak up if you're like not speaking up loudly enough. He'll like cold call people and stuff like that. And then uh, afterwards, I interviewed a candidate um, who's trying to, or is applying to Warren slash Lauder. And Lauder is a dual degree program that I'm getting. So I'm doing my Wharton MBA plus getting an international studies uh, master's degree. So I interviewed him. Then I just kind of like chilled and uh, surfed the web, checked, my, checked up on my fantasy team, which is not doing well right now. And I have another meeting at 11.15 p.m. Um, with an engineer who lives on the East Coast. One of my college friends were starting like this new business, which I'll kind of reveal at a future point. And 
After that meeting, I have to work on like an email、uh, newsletter for the Asian American Club.、Um, so that's gonna take around like 15 20 minutes. And then I'm just gonna be exhausted and sleep. So, as you can tell, today was a very just jam packed day with a lot of school stuff, meetings, rare liquid work, doing school work while in class as well.、Um, I had the executive coaching session. So,、um, everything besides social stuff. And I hope this was insightful, interesting to you if you at, our, at all are interested in an MBA program. And if you are, I'll be releasing my course for how to break into MB very, very soon. So, feel free to check that out down in, the in, down in the description below. And with that said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope to catch you all in the next video. Thanks, guys, and peace out.